Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is challenge number 4 of solving SQL challenges playlist. And in this video, I will discuss on multiple techniques for finding the ith highest P. Okay, so what is this all about? Let's discuss. Okay. So here the left table is employee table where we have a details about employee and its uh, salary and in the right side you are observing fifth highest salary, second highest salary and seventh highest salary. So these numbers can be replaced by any numbers. Okay. So we are going to create a dynamic query and uh, we can replace the value of i with 5, 2 or 7 or any other number whatever we want okay so this is the total requirement and uh, we are going to discuss two methods to achieve the same first one by using window function and uh, second one is uh, using subqueries okay so first method that uh, we are going to discuss is based on window function that is dense rank so let's see how we can implement this so for that let me switch to ssms okay and we already have an employee table created so let me select it okay so this is the same employee table uh, which we have observed in our slide so here we have three columns employee id employee name and its salary okay I will provide its uh, DDL and uh, DML script in description box. So if you want, you can get it from there. Okay. So first we will try to achieve our output, the required output using window function that is dense rank. So we will write select then uh, column name employee underscore ID. employee underscore name salary and uh, uh, we need one more column so first let me write table name from we will take this table employee table from employee table correct now here fourth column we will create a rank function and uh, we will be using dense rank so this is the syntax of dense rank first we need to write dense rank and then over now if you want to create a window then you can use partition by that particular column on which you want to create window but here we don't need to create any window so we will just write order by salary okay now just in order to understand the total syntax of dense rank uh, if uh, you need to create window also then how you can create you can use partition by column name okay so this is the column name on which you want to create a window but in this example we don't need to create window so i am not writing this i will just use order by salary and order should be in descending order okay and i'll rename this column as rank now let me select it see salary is sorted based on descending order so we have created this column now based on this column we can calculate nth highest salary right so for that we need to write sub query select now we only need these three columns from i'll name this table as emp now where emp dot rank equals now let's say we want second highest salary so we'll write two we got second highest salary correct because if you select this inner query corresponding to this rank number two we have the second highest salary for employee at correct 
now if you select this you can get the detail of employee ID 8 which is having second highest salary similarly you can replace this number with any number you want let's say you want fifth highest salary then you can write 5 and you can run it you want let's say ninth highest salary this is the ninth highest salary you want let's say seventh highest salary this is the seventh highest salary okay so you can change this number according to your need okay based on this number you will get nth highest salary correct now here replace 7 with i right and i value can be anything according to your need okay so if i go back to slide see here we have written same thing so you can replace this 5 with any number you want so if we take the example of rank equals 5 then this is the output okay and this is the same query what we discussed now and this was the method one now let's move to method number two this is the method number two just using sub queries this seems little confusing so let me explain it step by step you will easily understand it okay so again let me switch back to ssms now here i will write method So in method number two, let's say you want fifth highest salary. Okay, just for example, let's say the value of i is five. So for that, you need to write select top five, and uh, then you need to specify all the column name. So we need these column name. Select top five. These column names from this table then order by salary descending okay so let's see what we are getting from this code okay so if you observe this is the maximum salary this is the second highest this is the third highest fourth and fifth highest salary and since you wanted top five and the salary is in descending order so this is the top five salary in descending order okay but your requirement is you want fifth highest salary correct so for that first step was you just need to specify top and value of i so in this case the value of i is 5 so you got this as a result now in order to get fifth highest salary you need to write a sub query where you will write select top one then again give the column name like this then from let us give uh, this alias name as emp again and uh, then order by salary ascending so first let me execute this query and then we will understand how we have written this query okay let me run this see we got fifth highest salary how we can confirm this so let me again rerun this inner query so this was the fifth highest salary right with employee id 5 and salary 65k now if i reconfirm this we got the same value employee id 5 and salary 65k now this you understood you wanted fifth highest salary so this is the i value and here i is 5 let's say you want seventh highest salary then this 5 will be replaced by 7 okay so you will get some set of rows using this query right and now if i execute this and uh, if you observe this output carefully you wanted fifth highest salary then this last row is nothing but your required answer why because you have calculated top 5 rows by providing this condition you want top 5 rows in which salary must be in descending order so of course the last row would be 5th row and that is the exact row that you want right so we took this whole output as a table 
and then we ordered the salary in ascending order. So the lowest salary, which is at the bottom of this output table, will become first row, right? So if anyhow you are able to fetch this last row of this output, then that is the exact answer what you want, right? So in order to fetch the last row of the output, we have written this top one and uh, order by salary ascending. So salary ascending means the lowest value of the salary is this one. So it will become the first row since you are providing order by salary ascending, correct? So this row will become first row and then we are fetching that first row detail from this EMP table that we have calculated here, okay? So now let's say you want seventh highest salary. So the only change you will do is replace five with seven. So what it will do? It will output seven rows in which the salary would be in descending order. So first row would be same, second row would be same, third row would be same, till fifth row it would be same. Then it will add another two rows and the last row would be the required output. So let me run it first. See, till here it is same. It has added these two rows. Now we are considering this output data as a table here and we are arranging this salary in ascending order. So this last row which has the least salary will become first row since we are arranging salary in ascending order and then we are fetching that top one. So in short if I tell the output which you are getting from inner query you are just trying to get the last row of that inner query result. So this is what you are doing in order to get the last row which will become the required output. Okay. So you want seventh highest salary. This is the required output. You want fifth highest salary. Replace seven with five. This is the required output. You want eighth highest salary. Replace five with eight. This is the required output. Okay, so here we can write in general replace 8 with i. Okay, so whatever the value you want, you can replace this value with that number and it will output the result accordingly. Okay, let us go back to slide. So, this was the method 2 uh, what we have discussed. So, these were two methods by which we can find ith highest salary. Okay, so that's it guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this content, then uh, please don't forget to show your support by liking this video and uh, subscribing to my channel. And uh, please make sure to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications about the new video updates. We'll meet in our next video with some new channels. So please stay tuned. Till then, take care and Goodbye.